quarter three, week five. The objectives are, number one, visualizes and describe solid figures. Number two, makes models of different solid figures, cube, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere using plane figures. Lesson one for week five. Our topic is about visualizing and describing solid figures. Solid figures are everywhere around us. In this lesson, we will learn what solid figures are. We will explore some common types of solid figures. But first, let us have a review on your past lesson. This is also your drill in the form of game. Our game called Label Me. It is all about parts of the circle. Are you ready? First part, it is the distance around the circle. Label me. And the correct answer is circumference. Very good. Second part, it is the midpoint of a circle. Label me. The right answer is center. Great! Third part. It is the distance from the center point of the circle to the outer edge. Label me. And the correct answer is yes, radius. Last part. It is a line segment that connects two points on the circle and passes through the center of a circle. Label me. It's diameter. Good job, kids! Now, let us sing a song entitled The 3D Solid Figures to the tune of the more we get together. The three the solid figures are lessons in our mud. The three the solid figures are lessons in our mud. Cone, cylinder, rectangular, prism, spear, pyramid, and cube. So the three D solid figures are lessons in our math. The three D solid figures are lessons in our math. The three D solid figures are lessons in our math. Cone, cylinder, rectangular, prism, sphere, pyramid, and cube. So the three D solid figures are lessons in our math. Questions. What do we mean by 3D? What are the different solid figures mentioned in our song? 3D means three-dimensional. Three-dimensional figure is having or appearing to have length, width, and height. The different solid figures mentioned in our song are cone, Cylinder, rectangular prism, spear, pyramid, and cube. Let me discuss the different solid figures. The first one is spear. A spear is a round solid figure with every point on its surface equidistant from its center. The example of the object that resembles the spear is ball. The second solid figure is cone. A cone is a three-dimensional geometric figure that has a flat surface or base and a curved surface pointed towards the top. The example of the object that resembles to this figure is ice cream cone. 
The third solid figure is cylinder. A cylinder is a solid figure with two circular bases and a curved surface. The object that resembles the cylinder is glass. The fourth one is pyramid. A pyramid is a polyhedron firm by connecting a polygonal base and a point called the apex. Each base, edge, and apex form a triangle called a lateral face. The example of the object that resembles to this is a slice of a cake. The fifth solid figure is rectangular prism. A rectangular prism is a solid figure which has six faces that are rectangles. The object that resembles to this is a shoebox. The last solid figure is cube. A cube is a symmetrical three-dimensional shape, either solid or hollow, contained by six equal squares. The example of the object that resembles to this is a Rubik's Cube. Activity time! To answer our activity, you may need a piece of paper, a ball pen, and don't forget to write your name, section, subject, and the name of your teacher. Activity 1. Identify the solid figure represented by the following objects. For example, cabinet. The correct answer for this is rectangular prism. Now kids, get ready. It's your turn. Pause this video and answer activity 1 for 5 minutes. Good luck! Activity 2. Give at least two objects that resemble the following solid figures. For pyramid, I think of Great Pyramid in Egypt and a tent. It's your turn, kids. Pause this video and answer Activity 2 for 5 minutes. Good luck! Things to remember. The different solid figures are, we have rectangular prism, spear, Cone, cylinder, pyramid, and cube. Lesson 2 for week 5. Our topic is about making models of different solid figures. Solid figures have three dimensions. The length, the width, and the height. This robot is made up of different solid figures. Let's identify the solid figure used. On top of the head of the robot is spear. The head and the ears are made up of cube. The nose is cone. The eyes is made up of cylinder. The mouth, the body, the arms, and the legs are are all rectangular prism. Every solid figure has a pattern. The following images that are drawn are indeed plain figures. The first net drawn is cube. A cube has a six faces, twelve edges or sides, and eight vertices. This net is for rectangular prism. Like cube, it has also six faces, twelve edges, and eight vertices. The third net or pattern is for pyramid. A pyramid has five faces, eight edges, and five vertices. This net is for cylinder. A cylinder has two faces, zero edge, and zero vertex. The last net shown is for cone. 
a cone has one face, zero edge, and one vertex. Activity time! To answer our activity, you may need a piece of paper, a ball pen, and don't forget to write your name, section, subject, and the name of your teacher. Activity 3. Find the correct net or pattern for the following solid figures. Write only the letter of the correct answer. Pause this video and answer Activity 3 for 2 minutes. Good luck! The last activity, draw the correct net of the following solid figures. Pause this video and answer Activity 4 for 10 to 20 minutes. Good luck! Things to remember. Paper grid or graphing paper is a great help to draw and make patterns of different solid figures. For valuing, it's your youngest sister's seventh birthday. Due to pandemic situation, gatherings and other occasions are not allowed. But you and all members of the family want to make your youngest sister happy and celebrate it with your family alone. Question, what are the things you can contribute to the party using the art materials you have at home and using the solid figures? Good job, kids! That's the end of our lessons. Till next time, goodbye!